a win by the orange and blue, man. You can still take away something positive from this season if you see the kids playing. And we're seeing that now two nights in a row because the Knicks storm into Miami. Backs against the wall. No Julius. First and foremost, shout out to Obi Toppin for setting the tone. From there, the rest of the kids took over. Miles McBride, Quentin Grimes, and my guy Emmanuel Quickly. I keep telling y'all, man, put some respect on Quick's name. Again, no matter where you stand on this season, seeing what these kids are doing, especially in a game like this against, look, top team in the East, a team with a chip on their shoulder. Everybody made a big deal about the whole little uh, uh, fight in, in, on the heat bench and, and how they would respond. Well, the Knicks kids played hard tonight. And got a solid, solid victory on the road. I thought, obviously, McBride and Grimes were all over it. Quickly's defense was on point. Give credit to, I thought, Sims' defense was really good. I thought a big, big catalyst in the fourth was McBride's block on Jimmy Butler. And then takes it coast to coast for the lay-in. You saw a lot of McBride on the ball tonight. And as I said, Grimes, nine points. Quickly, 23 points for quick. Excellent effort by these kids. And, 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 and most importantly, because the Heat were gunning for RJ all night. And you knew that. You knew Spolster was going to have an excellent game plan for RJ to take the ball out of his hands. They were switching on him. With a versatile defense, you could put anybody on them. P.J. Tucker, Bam, Jimmy. So they were switching on them. They were blitzing them on the pick and rolls. Really making it difficult for R.J. in every facet of his game. Bad shooting night for him. Tough on the defensive side, guarding Jimmy Butler. We knew R.J. was going to be in store for a tough night. But he still grinded his way through to try to help this team. 18 points. Four dimes, I thought especially early in the game, he was passing well. He fought. But give the team credit because with, with the limited RJ, with no Julius, this team scrapped. Started with their defense. But Obi's energy to close the third was essential. And let's give him credit. 15 points, eight boards. Right. The kids are playing, they're competing. They're still fighting to try to get that playing spot. Even though they had the Hornets and the Hawks win, they're still fighting because they're looking for a chance. These kids, they're going to keep battling until the last bell rings, right? Till the final bell rings. And you could even say, and probably people don't, in the chat don't want to hear this, but talk about playing for a coach, right? You could easily pack it in at this point of the season. You could easily pack it in. Playing hard for the coach, bro. But they're playing hard for him. Okay. And they're playing the way that he wanted them to play, right? This is why I say... It's okay, okay to have him come back another season because look at it. We, he talked oh, about whoa, 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 easy, easy, easy. We got a lot of people oh, in here. I don't want people leaving. I don't want people leaving. I know. Okay, I'll, okay. I'll take the heat, bro. I don't want you taking the heat tonight. I'll all take right, the heat. All right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You talk about when you hear he said he wants guys shooting threes, getting out in transition, playing tough. That's what he said at the beginning of the season. Isn't that yeah. how these kids play tonight? Hundred percent. That's how they play tonight, right? One hundred percent. Yo, if you respect the coach, you play the way that he wants you to play. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, man. All right. So we got IQ. Right. Okay. Finished the Peacock game. And I was like, do I really want to watch the Knicks? They were down 17 at the time. Mm -hmm. The Discord fam convinced me to. Mm -hmm. I come in. IQ greets me with a 20-point quarter in the fourth. <sighs> Grimes Can hits we a 26-foot point shot. Deuce McBride doing defense all over the floor. Obi Toppin. How about, how nice about the block pull on up. Jimmy Butler? Threw him to the floor. That's what yes. I like about McBride is because he's a basketball player, but he still got that football player in him. He plays tough, man. Yes. And then snatched it and took it coast to coast for the lay-in. 
It's great. Great move. That's what I'm talking about. And then RJ, despite having so much defense on him, yeah. he was leading the team. He yeah. knew that, okay, they're locking me up. Let's get the ball to the hot hand. Unlike that other guy on the Knicks. We won't talk about him. He's injured. Right. Whatever. The thing about this is that the players that were on the floor doing this, they have dealt with accountability this entire season. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Let's be honest. Randall has gotten the wiggle room where he doesn't, he's not held to the same standards as these kids. These kids on the floor knew to play hard and to play right. Okay? Yep. They were not playing no crazy ISO ball, you know, despite IQ having the cold hand, no one was calling for the ball in the post saying, okay, all right, thanks, doing your job. Now for let me do some work. Mm-hmm. And then complain about not getting a call every time. This mm-hmm. is a team that is playing hard for Tom Thibodeau mm. that has also been held accountable for Tom Thibodeau. Mm. I, don't, okay? I don't know if the chat because, wants to hear that, but go ahead, bro. Go, keep going. But no, I'm only... But it's because of the young kids are being held accountable. Mm-hmm. Those vets aren't being held accountable because Tom Thibodeau gives them too much wiggle room. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I'm trying to say. This is a team that's playing good basketball when they're held accountable. Because the starters don't get held as accountable as them, you get what you saw this entire season. Mm. I think the kids played great. I think they went absolutely crazy. Mind you, this is the number one seed in the East. That's a fact. If you guys remember way back just a couple of weeks into the season, I told y'all that Tibbs I wasn't impressed with and will Leon Rose have the cojones to tell Tibbs, yo, play it our way. We want to see the, the kids or, or, you know, you got to skedaddle. Because to me, you know, I was in shock that Tibbs, you know, actually kept the youth in a little bit towards the end. I was totally in shock. This whole thing about him having this press conference, I really think that he might be checking social media himself, and he probably sees all the comments about him. He's probably pissed off and and put it in on Berman. But like I was saying, guys, you're right, CP, in a way that the I mean, the front office has has a decision, and basically, it's on Leon Rose to decide, you know, are you going to let go of your bestie if he doesn't follow your vision? Mm. And don't be brainwashed by Tibbs' vision because Tibbs' vision is the 1990s basketball with vets only. The way you see IQ is being played, you know, how he's giving him the minutes and how he's using it, Mm -hmm. what would you, CP, and what would you do, Alex? Mm -hmm. How would you guys, if you were the coach, how would you play IQ? And I, I put this tweet out there last week or the week before I said you can't talk about play the kids or talk about development and not talk about what Emmanuel quickly is doing right now and is that a result of the coach putting him in these positions to excel See, I think a lot of fans are just saying development is all about playing, starting, playing, 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 playing. And what the coach is saying is, if I don't feel like this player is ready for all of it, I'm going to put him in this selection here and see how he handles it. If he earns more, he gets more, so on and so forth. Now, the OB thing is completely separate. The OB thing is completely separate. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I, as I look at quickly, how can we knock the guy for not developing players and at the same time praise what Quickly's doing? 